Yo, what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building with another vlog. You know what I mean? We on our way to the spot. You know what I'm saying? Been to the spot checking out vintage watches in a while. We gonna see what they got. My wife told me uh, the other day that they had a vintage Lucerne super flat. And the story behind that is, um, I don't know if any, I mean, maybe it is a vintage Lucerne that's worth $2,000. But apparently, uh, the Venice Lucerne was $9. And when the guy walked past and told her why she putting back that $2,000 watch, um, she left and I asked her to go back and get it if it was $9. I knew it wasn't worth no $2,000. And they upped the price to $40. So we're about to go up here and we're about to see what's up and what's going on. You know what I mean? But uh, what we rocking right now is the vintage Caravel. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna reverse the camera and let y'all check it out right quick. So just there hold it on. is the vintage Caravel. You know what I mean? For those that don't know, Caravel was originally, and still is, you know, I guess made by Belova. You know, I had just found that at work, I found a uh, Caravel watch. It was quartz um, with uh, crystals in it, real nasty looking. Nothing compared to what they used to do back in the day because Caravelle was created to compete with Timex to be Belova's cheaper brand. Um, this one here is 17 Jewels, um, Swiss movement, water resistant. Um, look at the uh, crystal on there, no scratches, beautiful piece. Came on this steel bracelet. But what I'm gonna actually do with it um, of course, I'm going to put it on a leather strap. I'm going to order a leather strap, you know what I'm saying, put it on it. And we're going to get into it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I get with y'all when we get up at the spot. Peace. All the poets and the part-time singers always hang inside. Live music from a band plays a song called Soul Psychedelicide. The songs were year long and had been played for months when they walked into the place. No one seemed to care of this introverted look on most of their faces. Up on the mind would mean two words over and over again. Was this woman he had never noticed before he lost himself in the articulated man in which he said then? These two words, a little bit behind the beat. I mean, just enough to turn you on. All right, people, and here we go. We at the spot, and this is the uh, Venice Lucerne Super Flat that my wife was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful freaking piece from just looking at it. But as you about to see when I flip it over and look at the price, it is actually 40 dollars and 99 cent you know what i mean there it is right there not worth that price at all you know what i mean they totally hiked the price up on this thing i just kind of wish that you know when my wife was there she would have just got it for nine but she didn't know so i can't blame her for that you know what i mean but the other problem with this thing is overwhelmed you can't even wind it up so at 40 dollars plus a service definitely not worth it they definitely getting over on this one you know what i'm saying i don't i don't know what they doing nowadays you know what i mean but they tripping on this one but i did also find this belova art deco tank style watch now the price on this one i believe was 90 dollars and it's definitely worth 90 but you can't even wind it it doesn't do anything so servicing on this piece is going to be a bitch even if you can't find somebody to service it it doesn't work you know what i mean um i pulled out the crown you couldn't even move the hands on it you know what i mean and i guess that's cool for an old piece like that but for 90 dollars, i don't think so bro you know what I mean? I was really surprised that they had this piece. You know what I'm saying? Because I just offered somebody on eBay, um, not this particular model, but it's the Belova Excellency. 
You know what I mean? In the same square style, tank style. You know what I mean? They had it online for like forty nine ninety nine. I offered them thirty bucks. You know what I mean? So, and the one I the one I purchased is running. So, or trying to purchase is running. So we're gonna see. You know what I mean? What's up with it? But this definitely ain't worth it. You know, I'm they tripping again. But it's a beautiful freaking watch though. Beautiful Venice watch. You know, I, if it was running or halfway decent, I definitely would have got it. But not in this condition. Sorry. So, this your boy, P. Ross. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to leave this joint. Get up out of here. Peace.